Alright, so I'm attempting to reload my Twitch stream chat while I try to figure out this puzzle. But I don't know what to do. Maybe I should I should use some blocks to go over there and look and see what's over there. They won't actually let me throw water there. What the hell? Oh! I found a glitch! Nice glitch! What the hell was that? What the heck? <laughs> okay then. God damn it. I pressed jump. Come on, man. I'm trying to get over there. So there's the tracks. What? Oh, come on! Why is there a fucking hole there? Oh, my God. There's holes in the fucking tracks. kidding me that was the puzzle the puzzle was to move the brazier and to fix that one track further back that was it that was the whole puzzle wow I already finished it I'm trying to refresh stream chat guys dude that's crazy I thought it was way more complicated it wasn't all I had to do is redo that little piece of track and then move the brazier and it was done <laughs> I completely overthought thought it then it gets like there was any indication that's what it was all right, let me see if I can get this working. <sighs> Trying to get chat to work. Is it working? Oh, I might have actually got it to work here. All right, what a mess. All right, I can see you guys again. I think. Now I can see, yes, very nice, okay. Uh, excuse me. All right, we gotta go back now. Yeah, look, it's like physics glitching. It's doing water to, to magma infinitely, it won't stop. All right. Jingle Master just did a 501 bit cheer and said, does Jasper play the keyboard? <laughs> no, I don't have a keyboard. I don't have a keyboard, but I, he's a very smart cat. I bet I can teach him to play. <laughs> Just like in the meme. <sighs> so thank you for the 501 bit cheer, biggest cheer of the day. Thank you, Jingle Massive. Okay. <sighs> have I ever had gr green or red chili sauce on a burrito? It's everywhere where I live. Green and red chili sauce. Uh, if it's in there, I might I might have had it, but I probably don't actively know that it's in there. Ah. You can run from me. Run from that. Then a block instead of healing. Oops. Damn it, this is good reach. I 
wish there was a dodge or a block. There's nothing. Oh my god. There we go. I should eat some steaks. Superior steaks. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Uh, Scott, Scott Lott? Instant kill. The regular mushrooms. I want to make sure they weren't like a rare fire mushroom or something. Now they're just the regular ones. We got another teleportation spot over here. That's good. <clears throat> and a big ass temple. Holy shit. Very good. Navigo. Alright, let's get over there. Whoa, what is this place? I remember someone back at base mentioning a forgotten shrine. Could this be it? But there's something odd about the place. I feel strangely familiar, like I'm coming home. <laughs> huh? In there, DSP monsters! Monsters! Huh? Oh, they want to talk? Humans, you dare defile our unholy sanctum? Wait, I know you. You're the same simple creatures who build on the surface. Wherefore do you still explore these caverns? I thought your hopes had been dashed when the great and glorious Underseer turned your shining star into stone. <clears throat> Seems we must take it upon ourselves to deliver these fools to the abyss of the spirit they eagerly seek. Whoa! Look at this dragon! Lava. That was a bad teleportation spot. Alright, he's done. Let's go for the dragon now. Oh god, did a tail spin. What is this? Just the afternoon? Oh boy, I gotta eat. Oh, here we go. Ready? Double team attack! Ah! Triple kill! Very nice. Wretched Brett, how did you defeat us? Perhaps it is not of this world after all. Wahaha, that your destiny is already decided and a wonderful one it shall be. Give it to your fate and your soul may yet be saved. My lord and master, hear me. Oh god, it's the text that's delayed. Here we go. Uh. Oh? Hear me, Malroth, almighty master of destruction. Oh my god, it's the delay. Those monsters worshipped you and yet you showed them no mercy. That's how, we're ro that's how he rolls. That's Malroth, son. He doesn't mess around. <laughs> Come on. How very fitting, but I would expect no less from the Lord of Ruin. Give it a rest, will you? I'm not the lord of anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Man, monster, or god, none can escape their fate. Mr. Mayo starts asking did I see Avengers Endgame yet. Nope. And I probably won't because it's not going to be on Netflix, right? So unless I end up getting the Disney streaming service, I doubt I'm ever going to see it. Akim Toto just said, hey, what's up, Akim Toto? Would I consider going to Demon Busters with a fan? No. <laughs> you're the master of destruction. Your destiny is set in stone. Come on. This 
world is hurtling headlong into oblivion, and oh, you're the only one who can save it is you. See you later, Scott Lock. Thanks for stopping by. Come on! This stupid glitch, it's, it's a weird glitch that the text loads so slowly. What the heck is going on? Sorry about that. He thought here must be addling my brain. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Besides, we got more important things to think about, like digging up diamonds. Maybe if you play that food around here, it might give us an idea of where to go next. Let's grab all these items. Statue. Oh, the gothic statue. I want one of every statue. Read this one. Oh, they won't let me get this 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 statue. That's lame. <clears throat> Mr. Mayostert, I think that that's a good price for the package deal for the Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. The problem is what you don't realize. Those are the ad-enabled versions. So you're still gonna be watching tons of ad. What the fuck? You're gonna be watching tons of advertisements with those. Um, currently, we have Hulu Plus where there's no ads, and that's a much better deal. <laughs> this way. Aha, uh -huh, maybe back here. Sing through here. Aha! Look what we found. Yes! Jim Walker or Jim Beam? I've barely ever drank either one. I think I've had Jim Beam. I don't know if I've ever had Jim Walker whiskey, so. Mr. Mayoster says, how can they do that after a paywall? Because they do. Like, there's a there's a free Hulu, and then there's a Hulu that's a couple bucks, and then there's a Hulu that's more expensive that there's no ads. So, that sparkly rock must be diamond. It's almost as like giving off some powerful energy. Man. <clears throat> now we gotta find nine more of those. Yep. 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 I'm assuming diamond can only be used in special circumstances. Listening gems. <laughs> you look pretty pleased with yourself. What fantastic thing would you give you invented? A pair of golden gauntlets for Goldie Rocks. To be able to use them to reflect the Medusa stony spell back on her? Well, did we let you say the battle's going to be a breeze? <clears throat> Looks like we got more than enough diamonds for now. Let's head back to the base. This stupid heat's starting to, to do my head in. All right. Blimey, 
Reminds the CB of those actual real life diamonds you got there. Fantabulosa. I've sharpened high and low for diamonds all these years. I never thought I'd barter them with my own orbs. They're more fortuny than I could have ever imagine. Oh, builder. Somebody made me a dolly pair of Aunt Nilly fakes to frame my eek. You don't nearly fix left to wait until later, whatever they are. We need those diamonds to do the finishing touches on the gold bar, right? Just hang in there a little longer. We'll have the gap built as best we can in no time. All right. <clears throat> so am I supposed to make the gauntlets? I don't know. Machinery it's under. Alright. Uh, an idiot troll tipped me a dollar. I'm not even going to read what he said. He's just stupid. He's a complete stupid idiot. Okay. Golden gauntlets obtained. Now what do I do? I don't know. They're still building, it says, right? Oh, they finished it. Nice. La 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 la. <sighs> Congratulations are in order. The gold bar is complete. They're always in the bathroom, by the way. Nothing would make me happier than to have you put the finishing touches to the place, but before that, Marwell tells me to dig up some diamonds and came up with an idea for golden gauntlets. He says you plan to keep them or give them the Goldie Rocks to turn them into some kind of super weapon. I can barely believe my ears. <clears throat> you builders never cease to amaze me. Maybe now we'll stand a fighting chance against Medusa. Seems the mystery metal I chanced upon all these years ago is finally going to come in useful. Only if you stop chinwagging with me and make those gauntlets. I already did. <laughs> What's that? Golden gauntlets? Can you to fight Medusa? I'll bring back hope. Oh, bring back Babs. You give to me. Thank you. Be ready. Give now. Upgrade. Now come on, Medusa Stone Spell and can fight Medusa. Yeah. Shout out to Alga the Ripper who did a hundred bit chase at Smoky. If you got it, thank you. Spark Ring says no yawning, then all of us are gonna do it. Mr. Mayo starts says I brought some frozen burritos from Texas Peach Sauce. Do you have a favorite hot sauce? No, really, I'm not a big hot sauce guy. If they put, like, hot sauce or something in a meal, okay. But I don't add hot sauce to things. I think the only hot thing I, I, I used to get, um... Oh, God, what's it called? Ah. I used to get, oh, red hot buffalo sauce. Buffalo wing style sauce. I used to make, um, like, buffalo chicken sandwiches. Where I do, like, chicken lunch meat with buffalo sauce, a little bit of ranch, um... And some cheese, like provolone cheese or something like that. I would make a panini sandwich like that. But I'll say that I like never put hot sauce on my stuff, so. <clears throat> Alright, you're very clever. You make good things. Long ago, Islanders dreamed to get rich, dig much metal. But humans get greedy and become bad. <clears throat> humans are not bad from beginning. Only go back because they lose dream. Humans need dream. Dream to make money and dream to build the future. Must defeat Medusa, must lift the stone curse. Time to build future comes soon. <laughs> Alright, now the golden rocks. Where's the golden gauntlets? We may be able to hold our own against Medusa. If we manage to defeat her, Goldie Rocks will regain his strength and bring the Golden Age back to Crumble Dun. Not only that, but the Underseer is one of the children of Hargon's top brass, so get rid of her. We might free the island from that cult's clutches. <clears throat> something doesn't seem right. We finished the building. Medusa's nowhere to be seen. Is there something missing? If anyone can figure out what's right, it's you, DSP. Any bright ideas? <clears throat> Do I like hot wings? Not really. I like, like, buffalo wings. 
I like flavor for barbecue sauce, but I don't necessarily like the hot wings, so. Have you ever been to Dave & Buster's? Yes, I have. Favorite DR game? You mean Dead Rising? Uh, probably Dead Rising 2 is the best one, I think. Dead Rising 3 and 4 kind of go off the rails and are a little bit too easy and don't really follow the original formula. Dead Rising 1 is fun, and once you know what you're doing and you like New Game Plus, it's a lot more fun. But I think Dead Rising 2 is the perfect mix. <clears throat> okay. Why do I give all the characters the same voice? Because I'm not a professional voice actor. So I got the Golden Noggin. Remarkable replica of the Gold Goblin's Dazzling Dome. What do I do with this? I followed your blueprint down to the last block. It just doesn't feel finished. I can't think that something's missing. A gold noggin? That's a smashing idea. Sounds like what we need to take pride in the place as a symbol of the pulp. Alright. That's why you needed the diamonds. You and this uh, plan you had this planned out all along, didn't you? Well, it's high time you made this gold noggin. Just whack a bit of gold and some diamonds together. Sounds like a doddle. Okay. Make the gold noggin. <clears throat> there it is. Alrighty. I'm gonna go up and put it on the bar, I guess, somewhere. Gotta figure out where. La 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 la. Wait, I. Wait, where's it go? Up top? Maybe it goes up top? Way high up, huh? How do I get that high up? I don't see... I don't see stairs or a ladder to get up there. Uh... Did you guys forget something important? Oh, here it is. I didn't see it. Oh my god, now that's quite large. Don't well, let me put it here. Uh. Oh, holy shit! Gold bars finally got its face. Goldie rocks and the three bars are well and truly back in business. <laughs> I see. It looks like him with his hand up. That's what that was supposed to be. His body. Uh, that's pretty crazy looking. Tansu Fart of War took me, uh, did a 500 bit cheers and thanks for the unban. I appreciate Goldbar finished now, but why it looked like me? I believe I can answer this one. As the guardian of the mine, you're ever so important to this island. This is DSP's way of honoring your vital contribution. It's very nice, our dears. It's so shiny. But who's won't be able to resist turning into stone? The Underseer will be up here soon enough, mark our words. And when she does, we have to strike hard and fast. We mustn't get her to jump, the get to jump on us. If we can take her down, Goldie Rocks will get his powers back, and Babs will go back to normal again, right? I got a confession to make. I'm a coward with a belly as yellow as the sand I buried my head in when the monsters keep calling. But I ain't gonna be a chicken no more. From now on, I'll be needing my own sword. I'm gonna fight to save my daughter, even if I die trying. He's right. We have to do this for Babs. He's not gonna be scared of the monsters anymore. We might not be the strongest soldier around, but we can still swing the sword in anger. <clears throat> you count on me, too. I mean, Monsterphobia might be off to a bleeding charts, but it ain't enough to stop me from battling to save my beloved Babs. Me too, I'll do anything to get Babs back. Don't forget about me. Blah, 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 blah. Alright.
Uh oh! Since enemies approaching, get ready, everyone. So the big fight is coming to fruition right now. Can we make any more medicine? Eight more medicines. All right. Make sure I got food. There we go. All right. Big fight time. This is finally gonna be the big boss fight, everybody. <clears throat> no problem, Mr. Mayoster. It's funny, Mr. Mayoster, because so many people who are trolls come in here. Phil only responds to people who who cheer or sub or tip. I've been talking with you the whole stream. It's fun, right? You had some pretty pertinent, interesting questions. I do this all the time, but people want to be dicks, so... <clears throat> Looks like another horde of monsters is closing in. I'll bet they've come to demolish our shiny new gold bar. I've got an inkling that Medusa isn't far behind them. We really got her attention this time. She's fallen right to our trap. Before we deal with her, we have to send our minions packing first. <laughs> that reminds me, Den and some of the miners said they wanted to fight too. Better make sure they got weapons. Alright, let's get some weapons then. Give him the best basic sword, right? Is this it? The iron broadsword? It's probably the best we can give him. Alright. And three iron broadswords. Can I make more? I think I can, but I think I need more iron ingots. But it's gonna take a while. Who should I give these to? Where's Den? Here he is. Oh shit, I fucked up. I don't want to do that. Ugh. What sword did I have equipped? Was it the Iron Broadsword plus 50? Yeah, copper's only plus 40. I thought I had a better sword than that, though, that I had equipped, and now I screwed up and unequipped it. <clears throat> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I was using the iron sword. I guess maybe I was. I don't see any other weapons, right? So... No! I get... Well... I can't... They won't let me give it to them. I have a sword. I want to give it to them. They won't let me give it to them. Look. They won't let me get this... Oh. They will let me give it to Macho Chap. Okay. Only certain characters. Give it to the Jacked Jock. The Strapping Specimen. The Burly Blighter. Okay, I can only give it to certain guys. Now, I have a, I have a Copper Sword too, right? I see. <clears throat> Okay, that's a McGraw. Once these metal ingots are done, I can make a bunch more. There you go. Dr. Zeus! Tip me $3. This is what you're playing, Philip. We were playing Dragon Quest Builders 2. It's quite an interesting game. I really like it. Um... Because it's a combination of, like, RPG with building and combat 2. Like, there's a lot to it. Way more than I actually thought there was going to be. Alright, give this to Surge. Alright, give this to Dougie. Seriously, this game is way more complex than I ever thought it would be. And here we are, like, over 20 hours into it. I think we're almost 30 hours into the game. 
And apparently I'm not even halfway done. That's this game is like insanely long, so I like it. Nob Cheese says I should play this on the late stream, too boring for the daytime stream. The thing is there's already too many late streams. I have so many other games that chill streams, and plus this game's so long I think I have to play it as a main stream or I'll never finish it. It's like insanely long. Give that to Dougie. Oh, here we go. Nice. Give it to Den. There's still other people, right? I think there's still people I can give weapons to. Maybe one or two others. So I'll wait. I'll do one more, probably. 20 out of 80 hours, 2 islands out of 10 completed. Now, I think we're. I think this is about 30 hours in at this point. So what I'm thinking is the, the future islands won't be as complex. Some of them will be a lot quicker. Just keep in mind, I've been on this island now for a good 10 hours almost, right? It's been crazy long that these islands take forever to get through, so. Thank you, Mr. Mayo. He says he really likes the Sonic shirt. Sega was cool. I agree. I cannot wait. Next month, this is the uh, Genesis Clap Mini. The Genesis Mini I'll be playing. So that's going to be fun. Okay. There we go. And there we go. Alright, I think I've I think I've armed everyone now. Now we can do it. We can try it. <clears throat> Here we go. Alright, another horde of monsters are closing in. Let's do this. Everyone has good swords now. Hopefully we at least destroy them. We'll find out. <clears throat> Does it have different games in the Sega Genesis collection? It has over 40 games on it, apparently, Elite Shadow Ninja. So pretty neat. I'm excited. <clears throat> Battle commence! Holy crap, dude! With those swords, they kicked ass! They kicked major ass! We do tons of damage! Oh, he's gonna do a spin move. Oh, he hit me. Fuck. Mail on him. Damn it, they're destroying our houses. Yeah, dude, he wrecked the house. The whole house is gone. That was our a pumping station, right? Those were doing significant damage now. Nice, we're gonna charge move. Do it to it! Double team attack! Nice! One down. About to have two down. Nice! Cutting right through him! Oh, big dragons! Awesome! Oh, 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 oh. Alright, oh, finally died. Yeah, we are we're steamrolling them because they, everyone has better weapons now. Good thing I made all those. Completely destroy. Alright, beat up this dragon. Beat it up. Ah! Melt, make it melt. Nice. Now we're gonna have to fight the boss. Very good. Infinite Genders to me three dollars and said Sonic shirt but no Sonic hat. Uh, it's very hard to wear the Sonic hat on stream because uh, it, it interferes with my headphones. But I could wear it if I wanted. Maybe I'll wear it when I play Sonic with the Genesis Mini a celebration. But no, I'm not gonna wear it today randomly on a stream for no reason. Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Level up! 
My world gets stronger. I hit level 19. <laughs> what did I learn? Ooh, something new. What's a new recipe? Yay! Iron shield. Extra defense. Cool. <clears throat> Bump Pumper Pimp to me a dollar twenty says, "Would I consider hosting meme review or collaborating with Doctor Disrespect?" No and no. Double no. Okay, let's continue on. No. I guess I can grab that shield before the boss fight. Hooray, right, we defeat the Undersuit's underlings. We win. We haven't won yet. The big one's still to come. The final battle against the Medusa. Me slow. Timing no good. DSP much better. You climb on back again. Help block Medusa's stony glare. Tell me when to use Golden Gauntlets and block spell to beat Medusa. Be ready when DSP ready. Let me know. Climb on and we fight together. Hold your horses. We got a little job to take care of first. It sounds like a bit of a bashing, so they're going to repair it. Right. The base is restored to its former glory. All right. So they're going to rebuild the pumping station. They did. I want to build a shield. It needs an iron ingot. What's funny is it was already making one. And it must have cancelled itself out. Yeah, it must have cancelled itself out. Oh, you know why? Because they attacked it and it got damaged. That's why. When it got damaged, it probably stopped making the metal. Or the ingots. Crazy Spanx has subbed for six months. It's a six-month gold crown. That is correct. You earned the gold crown chat badge. Thank you, Crazy Spanx, for six months of support. Very nice. Yeah, I agree. A Dreamcast Mini would be amazing. See, I'll go to Ripa. You're mistaken. He says, I'll, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but outside of NFL and NBA 2K, the Dreamcast was ass. Wrong. The Dreamcast was the go-to console for fighting games. It had Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, and Capcom vs. SNK 2. It was the best versions. They weren't exactly arcade perfect, but they were the tournament-approved versions for a good almost 10 years. That's what everyone used. And when Dreamcast were breaking, people would like glue the shit together and find ways to get bootleg Dreamcast so they could keep playing those games in tournament. Um, it really was the fighting game console for a very long time. Yep. Yep. And I need, to, I need to equip that. The fuck is it? There we go. Nice. I like got full metal armor and, and a shield. That's pretty sweet. Soul Edge as well. That's right, Fluttershy. Soul Edge was really good on the Dreamcast. <clears throat> Shoulders comfortable? Now we're ready to fight Medusa. <laughs> Looking good, Goldorox. The human you're wearing really suits you. Alright, we're about to face the final battle. Medusa's on her way. I can feel it. Are you ready to take her down? Let's do this! We've been waiting forever. Babs is the one who rescued us when we fell in that pit, Remember? Now she's the one who needs digging out of a hole, so it's only fair that we return the favor. It's funny, isn't it? When we first got here, everyone was so scared of the children of Hargon. Now Babs needs saving, and we're all willing to lay their lives on the line just to, uh, to take down the boss. Just goes to show what they really care about that kid, I suppose. What was that feeling called again? I can't remember. Well, whatever. This is a DSP. Time to put that Medusa in her place and stick it to the children of Hargon. Let's do it to it. <clears throat> Comes Medusa. The stony ice source of subterranean suffering. All that sparkles, all that shines must be destroyed. They steal the attention, they assault my eye. I'll turn everything to stone. Everything! That is my duty, my duty of destruction. Hargot demands I all must be destroyed. Ah! Medusa uses Sony spell reflect with golden gauntlets. Face Medusa and reflect spell back. Hit Medusa and hurt Medusa. So it's press and hold square when you're riding on Goldorox's shoulders. <laughs> nice. Crap. Oh! 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 Nice. Oh, 
Of course she summons her monster minions. What else is new? Oh! Oh! Destroy the evil moles! Oh! 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 Oh, you don't fuck with me! Oh! Oh, you don't fuck with me! A giant goddamn golem! I punched the shit out of you! Little mole motherfucker! Where'd she go? She comes! Get over there! Oh! 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 Okay. <laughs> Get ready to charge. Nice, get over there, beat the shit out of her. Oh, 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 oh look at that beat down. More minion. Oh no, she's over here now. More monster minions. Giant scorpions. Hummer. 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 Ha. 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 You don't fuck with me. I have giant fists. Punch you in your face. Then right in your dick. All right. Where the hell is she? There she is. Oh. She turned someone to stone. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Yes! <laughs> Alright everyone, get behind me! Wait a minute! tries to trick you. Only one is real, the other is illusion. Look closely. <laughs> this one's real. <gasps> yep, the one with the light color. I knew it. Oma! Mama, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> More monster minions. The, these boss fights are pretty fun and epic. I have to say, I like them. Oh yeah. See how you like this. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, bad to the bone? How about dead to the bone? Punch you, punch your ass, punch that shit into the lava, get the hell out of here, you're dead. Screw you, take this. All right, where'd she go? More minions. Right in the face. These big burly dudes. They're so big and burly. They can't survive against a golem's punch. One left. Oh look, there's Medusa. I'm gonna follow it. Nice. Shit out of it. Alright, this should be the final time. Okay. Medusa's enraged! 
do some attack from above. says, pets are great. I took a flight where a, a woman's stress dog sat across my leg, or laid across my legs the whole flight. Yeah, pets are awesome. I said last night Jasmine was here to lead with me. He has put his feet up on my, on my leg. It was pretty cute. <laughs> Alright. Very nice. That's it. Medusa's done. The heart stone. Not to be confused with Hearthstone. That's copywriting, all right? That's trademark. We did it. We defeated the Medusa. Yeah, it's because she wrecked. She wrecked our whole mine. Yeah, she turned the mine into this big friggin' field here of lava. <laughs> what was that thing she dropped when she finished her off? It seemed pretty special. Maybe it'd come in handy for breaking Babs's curse. Oh, DSP. <clears throat> Defeated the Medusa for us, and soon enough, I'll have my darling daughter back and all. <laughs> Thank you to Captain Kamen for a hundred bit cheer. Appreciate that. <laughs> you feed us from that cruel creature's control. Children of Hargon goes away, goes far, far away. Finally, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Get rid of that horrible lot's all well and good, but it ain't time to celebrate just yet. Now when Babs is still solid as a rock, we gotta do something. Oh, Babs, dear sweet Babs, come back to us. I pray so that I might regale you with the tales of heroic deeds I and my allies performed on the battlefield and all for you. All right, we got a saver. Here we go. Don't answer that yet. Not till we fix things around here. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Blah, 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 blah. The base is restored to its former glory. Ah, they rebuilt every- wow, they even rebuilt the, the fucking mine. How'd they manage that? That's funny. <laughs> we so defeated all thanks to you. Still no full power. Told me you need metal to get strength back, copper, silver, gold, to tell through the one more thing. Heartstone. Who used to steal it from me, but now we steal it back. Use stone to give glow back and save Babs. <clears throat> Go to the iron workbench, combine the heartstone with gold, silver, and copper ingots. To make the golden glow. <clears throat> okay. Yay! Hey! <laughs> there it is, the golden glow. <laughs> All right, here it is. Give him full power back. Yes. Thank you, now can save Babs. <coughs> right then, no more looking about. Time to bring Babs back. There we go. Thank you everyone, give me lots of metal, lots of help, could not have done without you. Time has come, but one thing you must know, when you use Golden Glow, me disappear. What? You mean like, Disappear but not die. I become part of Gold Bar. Fill mine with metal. Lift curse from Babs. It the only way. <clears throat> but Goldie rocks. Do not feel bad. Want to do for everyone for Babs. I have no regrets. <clears throat> Thank you, DSP. Thank you, everyone. Many good memories. Many happy times. Well, that's it for Goldie Rocks. 
Whoa. Basically, he makes it infinite, infinite veins. Yeah. Infinite amounts of minerals. <coughs> but no diamond. Well, screw you, buddy. <clears throat> All right. Mission accomplished. <clears throat> Very good. Ah. <clears throat> what am I doing here? What happened to me party? <laughs> oh my days, are you a for sore eyes or what? What's got into you lot? Does something happen I should know about? <clears throat> Wait, where's Goldilocks? In celebration of Babs' long-awaited salvation and the return of the Golden Age, the residents of Crumble Dune hold a raucous party that rages throughout the night. As Den Ladies out the punch, the miners throw a few of their own as they fight for the right to dance with Babs and regale her with the tales of their mining exploits. But while she rules about the stage in the arms of one blushing beefcake after another, Babs can only think of Goldie Rocks, who sacrificed himself to save her and the land that she loves. Then morning comes. Then the morning comes. <clears throat> Fluttershy says Goldie Rocks had the touch. That's right. He had the touch and he had the power. Thanks for coming to the party last night, DSP. I had a right laugh. I know down in the miners ain't seen me in ages, but they could have left me alone for two minutes. By the way, the lads told me we got you and Goldie Rocks to thank for Crumble Dune's revival for freeing me from the Medusa spell. Thanks for everything, I really mean it. You know, I think I get it now, why Goldie Rocks did what he did. He sacrificed himself so the person he cared about most could survive, and that's what you call love, right? He would have been better off without any if you asked me, but I suppose it all worked out okay in the end. Tell us how you really feel, why don't you? Tee hee. All I know is, thanks to Golden Rocks, this island's about to enter a whole new era of prosperity. I just wish he was here to share it with us. Huh? Do not be sad, Babs. Huh? Is that you, Golden Rocks? Me part of Gold Bar now. Always here and always watching. Me always watch over people who crumble Dune. Always watch over Babs. <clears throat> Aw, oh, thanks, Goldie Rocks. I feel heaps better now. You'll always have a special place in me heart. I nearly forgot something well important. If I nearly forgot, that means you two lunkets definitely did. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Mayo Sturt is asking, did I ever get into Stephen King? I never read any of his books, but I've seen many, many of his movies. Some of them I really like, some of them I think are terrible, so... Malroth Crumbledon's all set to enter its second golden age, and you're a big part of that. Somewhere along the way, I think you forgot what you really came here for. To find new mates and materials to take back home with you. <laughs> you're right, and all the excitement had completely slipped my mind. I should have said something sooner, but my memory's been a bit rocky lately. Anyway, there's a few of us here who might fancy going back with you. I don't know where everyone else has got to, but maybe you should have a word with them before you head home. So we gotta have a talk with everybody. Thanks for getting rid of that rotten Medusa for us, though. The way you and Goldie Rocks fought together was truly a sight to behold. We came here to find metal. Well, it's me and some new friends to bring back to this island of yours. You know, I'm a blacksmith by trade, so if you let me come back with you, you get a friend and a metal worker all rolled into one. Let's take them. Alright, so like a true pal, your honor will be all the more better for having me. Nice. I can't thank you enough. You brought, brought the gold rush back to Crumble Dunn, and the pubs you built us have got the town buzzing again. I've always wanted to run a lovely little bar of my very own. Never in my wildest dreams that I think I'd end up running three of them. I never get tired of serving up a jigger and seeing a miner's crown turn upside down. I tell you, I can mix drinks till my arms fall off. But there's still something missing. I know what's going on. I know that Babs, the vine apple in my eye, has got her heart set on going to that island of yours. That's why I want to come too. We can build a new bar there. All right, cool. Watch a DSP and watch a Malroth. Now that the Medusa's out the way, this island can finally get back to being the way it was again. You two did a proper bang-up job seeing to that. I'm proud of you two. You're probably minor mates to me and Dougie. If you go back to the Isle of Awakening without me, you'll break up the Crumbled Dun Dream Team. That's why I'm coming with you. Do we really want to? What's there to discuss? We're going to take me with you, right? Let <laughs> me go in there for a second. Uh, all right. 
I was scared at my wits at the last battle, but I kept going. We fought side by side and saved Babs together, and I wouldn't have missed that for the world. We're heading back home now. I expect to tell the truth. We sad to see you leave. In my eyes, you two are the true blue miners to the core. Honorary crumbled Dunians, even. I won't ever forget you. <laughs> Dougie, did I hear you correctly? You're not actually saying your goodbyes, are you? Come on, let's go to the side of the winning and see what the fuss is about. You're having a laugh, ain't you? What about the mine in the pub? The gold rush is about to kick off, and after all we've been through. Ah, uh, you let the rest of the lads take care of that. You can watch over them all for you can watch over them all your life. You can't watch over them all your life. But us four, we got a special bond, one that can only be forged when the mines have crumbled on. Just make up your mind. Are you coming or not? All right, uh, I'm in. I'm gonna be the one that breaks up the dream team. What do you say? All right. No, yep. <laughs> the poser. <laughs> All right. That probably means everybody else is probably staying behind, I bet. <laughs> Bono to harder your dolly old ek. Thanks to you and Malrot, I've oogled Zushi jewels and Fortuny treasures I never would have oogled otherwise. After all, the Zushiest treasure of them all was closer Ajax than anyone thought something Nanti Gemstone could ever hope to match. It's been fantabulous to meet you, but I suppose you're here to say bona, bona, bona bye before you head off home. Or did you mince over to invite me to come with you? Isn't he bold? I was only joking, but thank you all the same. To Polari, honestly, I've already decided to stay. When I think of all the guilt lying underground just waiting to be ogled, I go Majinder. Me or Meshagender. I don't know what the hell he's saying anymore. Just make sure you troll back for a visit now and then. <laughs> Hello there, you two. We hope that fight with the Undersea didn't take too much out of you. Very violent. We've not moved so much in years as in years ease. <laughs> we saved Babs and it was all worth it in the end, even if it wasn't the prettiest dancing girl on Crumble Dunn anymore. Mm -hmm. We suppose you'll be heading back home to your own island soon, but first we want to get something off our chest. We're a little worried about you two, Malroth in particular. It's got scary eyes. Might go off the rails at any moment. Off the rails? What do you think I am, a minecart? Actually, that could be kind of fun. <laughs> Malroth, we hope you're joking. We can't tell if it's innocent or wicked. But if we're around, we'll do our best to keep you out of trouble and make you back to the island. We knew you'd see our sense. Excellent one question. Very interested. You don't happen to have any friends with big bushy beards on this uh, on this island of yours, do you? The thing is, we've been single for so long, so difficult to meet nice mans in the tunnels is. <laughs> she's gonna watch the guy who wants to be mayor. She's gonna fall in love with them. That's what it is. It's gonna be a story with that. All right, so the only one left is this guy, Zerge or Surge. Salutations, DSP. When I first heard the Builder's Bell and made my way here, I never expected to find myself in Brill in such an exciting adventure as this. As a staunch believer in the children of Hargon, helping a builder to construct gens of debauchery was the very last thing on my mind, I assure you. But that isn't the only change. Since Goldie Rocks filled the mine with gold and silver again, I had this bizarre urge to grab a pick, head underground, and dig. Which is why I decided to become a miner. I shall train in the pumping station day and night, building up my physique so I can earn the respect of the boys. Crumble done is safe with me, DSP. Your priorities lie back in the Isle of Awakening. I'm sure you'll turn the place into a bona fide utopia. Alright. Hello again, you two. Is this everyone's coming? I see you managed to talk my dad into going along with you. Is that a turn up for the books? You really won over everyone's trust. I believe in you too, but I don't think I can go with you. Oh, really? I thought that it was what I wanted, but then I thought about Goldie Rocks and how lonely he'd be if all his mates took off without him. Babs, what are you saying, Babs? Babs, is that you, Goldie Rocks? Babs, we not hide true feelings. Babs want to go with DSP, yes? That okay, me understand. Crumble done safe now. No need to worry. You go. Well, promise me something. Babs, come back to Crumble done one day and tell me stories about DSP's island. Oh, Goldie Rocks. Thanks, of course I promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. For all the SP, Goldie Rocks has given me a blessed blessing. I don't feel so bad about going with you now. When do we set sail? The truth is, I'm in dying to see your island ever since you first mentioned it. I hope I can help you turn the Isle of Awakening into a proper little paradise. <laughs> Remember, DSP, you can come back to Crumble Dunn anytime you like. No need to dig up all the metal it can put its greedy hands on. You can come back later. The truth is, we've been busy ourselves gathering all sorts of materials to use on our your island. We'll hand it all over when we get there. <laughs> well, I guess that's everyone. It's about time we got packed and headed over to the dock. We can all sail back together on Brownbeard's boat. 
I can't wait to see Lulu's face when we show her all of our new recruits. All right, we gotta go to the boat. Here we go. Huh. Ahoy, DSP. You're a sight for seesaw eyes, and I see saw you brought a model crew of salty hot dogs with you. These, you. these are your new mates, are they? Well, if they're willing to swab what needs swabbing, they're welcome aboard. Shall we hoist the main brace and set sail for the Island Awakening? DSP. Wait, please wait. You're not thinking of leaving without saying goodbye, bye, are you? At least let us varter you off. Well, DSP, after all you've done, Crumble Dunn will be forever in your day. Now that the feelings of Hargon have been sent packing, this island can finally look forward to a more fortuny future. But that who would stoop to make the beautiful Miss Babs away from us is, such, is, such, is much to my charging. She's the real treasure of Crumble Dunn. Yeah, well, we're looking after her now so you can get bleeding used to it. Uh, I reckon it's, it's time, DSP, let's get still for the Isle of Awakening. I can't half say how happy I am that Crumble Dunn's medal is going to be Cause we're all proud to be part of it. <clears throat> Take care, my friends. I hope you were dealing with tales of hijinks and adventures should you ever return to Crumble Dunn. Toodle Pit. The conqueror of Crumble Dunn Trophy obtained. All aboard for a trip aboard. Sign to set sail. All right. Oh, that's Island 2 down, and of course now we're probably going to do stuff on the Isle of Awakening with mining, I would assume, right? Bertrand Hustle took me a dollar since I love this game. I, I love it too. It's surprisingly entertaining. Like, I'm actually having so much fun with it, even though it's very basic and there's not a lot that goes on. I actually really like the game. I'm looking forward to more. I wonder what the heck the next island could be, right? <laughs> Polish Frog says, what if Jasper accidentally started your stream in the middle of the night and did a pre-stream? ha <laughs> ha. I guess that would be pretty funny. He does his own. He sits here and goes, meow, 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 And so the adventure of Crumble Dunn draws to its conclusion. DSP Malroth and their newfound friends that sail for the Island of Awakening where Lulu and the others await their safe return. All right. All right. So now we're going to have a few hours on the Island of Awakening again doing mining stuff, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> oh. Alright, retrieve my stuff from the storage sack. GSP, Mulroth. Look who's back. <laughs> Welcome back, you were gone ever so long. These are your mates then, are they? Watch up, lads, watch the lasses. When do we start building? Uh, who are these people, DSP? Are they the new subjects of Lulutopia that you went to recruit? What is that awful sweaty stench? Yeah. You must be Lulu. Pleased to meet you. I'm Babs. We all come over from Crumble Dunn to live here with, with you, starting from now. <laughs> You're most welcome to join us. We're all looking forward to building a beautiful kingdom with you. So, Lulu, how's the Harry Hammerhood doing? Still as barmy as ever, I take it? It's funny you should ask. You see, one day as he was gazing at DSP's work, his memory suddenly started to return. He's been a different hammerhood ever since. Hey, man, it's the Builder. Welcome back to the dry land, man. What the heck are these guys doing here? I know that symbol. They're with the children of Hargon. What do you want? My name's Shane, man, and I'm a shaman. Cool to meet you, man. The missionaries for the children of Hargon, man. We discovered this island purely by chance, man. Don't mind us, man. Once I found out who they were, I tried my best to get rid of them, but Bonanzo insisted they stay. As well I might, they seem most interested in building. Much like our dear departed friend, Pastor Al, I simply couldn't bear the thought of turning them away. Huh. DSP, we're as eager as ever to begin the next stage of the building work, but we don't want to tread on anyone's toes. I'm sure the newcomers are chomping at the bit to get started themselves, so we'll hang back while you show them the ropes, but if you ever need a hand, only you have to ask. My sentiments exactly. If you ever need anything, anything at all, call my name and I'll be there in an instant. And me, if you ever need my ground-grooming talents, you know where I am too. 
That's sorted. Then, all right, DSP, before we crack on with any building work, why don't you think we should pay a little visit to the hairy hermit we heard so much about? I guess so. I guess so. And the cool thing is we got a lot of mini metals we could trade in now, too, I'm sure, for good stuff, right? Huh? <laughs> Mr. Mayostert says, Do you think Hunter Thompson has resonated throughout Johnny Depp's roles after Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? I know, right? Isn't it weird? Like, before Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Johnny Depp was an actor who would do different kinds of roles, and all of a sudden, like, every character after that has been the same character. So you're right. I think maybe he's just become this character actor that he can't get out of his system now or something. Who knows, right? Because I was aware yesterday was International Cat Day. We talked about it on stream. All right. You brought back, 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 and I see you brought a few friends with you. Who's this lovely lady? Your beauty is making me bashful. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, Mr. Hermit. Who prefers our gentlemen's is with hairy ch chins, not hairy backs. Hi. Are you not the hairy hermit we heard so much about? Well, we come to live here if that's all right with you. <laughs> that's more than all right, young lady. I'll be off my rocker to say no. I imagine the first thing you'll be needing is a place to stay. Now, where can we put you? <laughs> Thanks for the offer, but we don't need no houses or hotels yet. There's something else I want to build first. Remember when I got turned to stone? That meant you built the gold bar without me, and I missed out big time there. So to make up for it, I want to build a great big building. Something proper special that people from miles around will want to come and see. Well, that sounds like a wonderful idea, Baz. I was just thinking about Lulutopia could do with a premier tourist attraction. In that case, I know just the spot where you can put it. The Scarlet Sands. Why don't you go head east and check out the island's second stone tablet? Alright, sounds good. Let's see some mini medals. Here we go. I got 10 mini medals, so we'll take them. For reaching the 14 medal mark, I'll teach you how to make s sets of Middenhall garb. Okay. For 18 medals, he gives you the Tunes of the Town songbook. I brought 20 medals. I need 22 for something new. Got it. So what's this Middenhall garb? I wonder if it's any good. It's defense plus 15. Yeah, I think what I'm wearing is much better. Okay. Where are we heading? East. Far east. Okay. Now, wait a minute. I've got the middle hammer. And if you guys remember, when we were first climbing this mountain, there was... A secret area I could see through a wall that I wanted to break, and I couldn't break it at that time. Maybe I could break it now that I have the better hammer. Let's find out. It should be right over here. Right around the corner here is the hole you can see it. Here it is. No, I still can't do it. Even with the better hammer. So this must be a secret for much later. In fact, look, it's a, you can tell it's a puzzle. You see the red blocks? The red blocks are a puzzle. So it's got to be a mini metal puzzle, but I can't get in there yet. Damn. Well, that stinks. Anyway, I guess we're off. Ow. <laughs> yeah, here's the new tab. I saw this. I found this earlier. But of course, when we went to interact with it, nothing happened. So the mining is going to be on this desert. Here we go. Alright, let's see here. Just like the tablet and the green gardens, this was left behind by the builder who lived here once upon a time. Think carefully about what you need to build to turn this place into your own island paradise. When you come to conclusion, the targets will appear. You're, dude, K Galleon, I've forgotten a million times I have a glider. I never remember. <laughs> I was wanted a big building, and I was hoping for some sort of scenic spot to turn into a tourist attraction. Perhaps you could think of something that combines both our ideas? You did so well before, I'm sure you could dream of something just as spectacular. Alright, an enormous edifice soaring over a sandy sea interspersed with oases shimmer in DSP's mind. Yay! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so build a pyramid and build an oasis. Interesting. 
A splendid sightseeing attraction. When entice new residents to your shores, a great big pyramid would do the job perfectly. The desert stretches away into the distance as far as the eye can see, so build a beautiful oasis where weary travelers can rest and relax. <laughs> We're gonna build a pyramid on an oasis? Nice one. That sounds just like the ticket for us crumble dunnions. What's a pyramid? Like some kind of giant spike? Maybe when we're done, we could throw Lulu on top. I like the look of this place. The sand, the cactuses, the red rock. It all reminds me of home. Let's not stop at a pyramid. Let's build a whole new town here. You all seem awfully keen to get started. Are you always as excited about building? Of course, dear. Ever since we went DSP, we've been crazy for construction. Most build, uh, must build more, more. Speaking of which, we brung some materials from us from, from Crumble Dunn. But they might come in useful once we got here, you know what I mean? We picked the very best of what our island has to offer. If you want to use some of what we brung, just have a butcher in that chest. Gosh, you really thought of everything. Now listen to me, everyone. Woo to working, woo to shirking. That's our motto here in Lutopia, so let's all start working on the pyramid and the oasis. Nice. Let the building begin. Another challenge complete, I see. Crack, crack, cracking job. Would you look at that? It's a mini metal. Huh. Yay. Damn, I need one more to get a new a new uh, thing. Yeah, I need one more. You were working with a transformo trowel. I wonder what that is. All right, toodle pit for now. Okay, well, obviously we need to talk to her to get the mission commencing. Very nice. <laughs> 